Keep in mind when you're working through an emotional issue, the emotion is happening here. It's kind of like a weed that's active, but the root of it is in our, in our gut usually, and there's a root there. And when we try to manipulate and change the outside world, and we do that physically or intellectually, physically is usually through action where we try to manipulate and control the thing that we think is causing us to feel bad. That control usually doesn't reward us with great return. We can see some changes, but often that, because that's kind of encoded with this, this fear that you're acting from, that you're really unaware of, uh, the, the thing that you change also has that fear in it. It doesn't stay. It was a manipulation. It was force. You did that because you were motivated to feel better. So the other way of changing something is changing the way that we look at something, the way that we see something, the way we think about something. And that's done through our mind, which is actually pretty powerful. Our mind is a powerful tool, but the mind, it, it comes with the body. It is not of our higher self. It is alive and run because there is something much deeper within us. That aspect of who we are is truth. That is our essence. It's the, the loving, happy part of us that is always ever present. So when we try to use our mind to change something, we can only change it to the level of the consciousness that the mind is, which is limited because it is a tool. It is not the essence of us again. So you will get a better feeling, but it's like trimming just a, a section of weeds in your yard. You have some weeds, you take a weed whacker to a few of the weeds or maybe all the weeds if you need to. And that's what, you know, dealing with something is like you're dealing with this weed and this weed and this weed and this weed. When the, the root system hasn't been dealt with, those weeds will pop back up. And so the question is like, how many weeds do you have to kill? And, and if you don't get to the root system, they'll just keep coming back. But you can temporarily feel better and you can change the way in which you see your yard for a while. And that can be really beautiful and that can give you some space and some power. But to go beyond that, you actually have to get to the root system. And the root system is nothing more than a vibration. It's a feeling, it's something that you picked up from your parents, your surroundings as a child. And, and a lot of that might have even happened before you were really developed in your thinking. So you were just picking up feelings through observations and, and also just being around people. Even in the womb, you're picking up your mother's vibes. So you're learning fear based on the experience with others. So that is still active in you. So in order to deal with it, you have to meet the feeling in the body. And the feeling wants to sprout again. It wants to create these weeds in your mind. And so when you focus on something, it's really easy for this feeling to give you things to focus on, shiny little objects of ideas and thoughts and mentalizations. And that can help you feel a little bit better. It knows how to soothe you so it can stay active or distract you so it can stay active. But really the only way to deal with it is to allow it to be there with equanimity, with love, with, with your higher self, with your truth. The truth of who you are is love, joy, and happiness. So if you can approach a feeling and give your undivided attention to that feeling, you're giving your truth to a lie because all fear is based in a lie, something that's carried down from generation to generation that you picked up, whether it was through words, actions, or just vibrations. So you're dealing with it there. And in order to keep it there so it doesn't get here, you have to give your undivided attention to it, and that's difficult to do. So that's why I recommend things like breath work, or even counting the vibrations that you feel or using a mantra. That is all an attempt to keep your mind, your thinking mind, the weeds, out of the work of ratifying the sensation. It will go away. It may take some time to raise that lie up to the level of your truth. So every time you sit with it, it's going up just a little bit, a little bit. It may take you a month sitting with it a half hour each day. But if you take a subject that elicits fear, and that could be first felt as anger, you sit with it, give your equanimity to it, your attention, your love, your truth to it, it will raise. And it might raise just a little bit. You might not even notice it, but you keep going that, that way for, for some time. It will dissipate. But if you allow your mind to get active, it will build up here. And then you're really irritated out in the real world. So stop the weed trimming and get to the root and keep your focus on the root and keep your mind out of it. It can only take you so far.